Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today I'm going to show you how to combine multiple designs to create your very own files. So you can take some of our backgrounds, our graphics, along with some font to create your very own designs. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The software that I'm using today is called Designscape. So if you guys are not familiar with this, if you guys are a Gold Plus member for Design Bundles, you guys have access to this. So it's completely free for our Gold Plus members, and it's amazing. You can use this to create your very own graphics. You can use this for mock-ups, um, creating SVGs, PNGs to use with Cricut and Silhouette, your sublimation, all sorts of different things to do with this. But today, I'm going to show you how to take backgrounds, graphics, along with font, like I said, to make your very own files. So step one is we need to bring in our background layer so you can do this a couple ways you can drag and drop your file right here or you can go to file and then you can go to open but i'm going to show you the drag and drop so what we're going to do is here is a folder that i'm using today and there is a ton of um backgrounds in here so this is only one plus credit so all of the files that i'm using today including the font are only one plus credit and we'll have them linked down below so I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the PNG version. I'm going to drag and drop it. So as you guys can see, it just opened up right here. Um, so there's our very first layer. And as you guys can see, this is a transparent layer. So what it's going to have is we're going to have these little speckles. Um, so it's not like a solid background. It's got the little speckles, and I really like that. So next, what I want to do is bring in our graphics. So to layer on top of this design, what you want to do is go to File, and then we want to go to Open in Place. So right here, Open in Place, we're going to click on our ellipse right here and click on Upload. So to size this out, what you want to do is hold down the shift on your keyboard, and this is going to allow it to um, size out very proportional. So it's going to keep everything in, in check. So we're going to grab a corner here and just size out. So I'm going to go ahead and now grab it and move it where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and move it somewhere right about here. And now I'm going to show you how to bring in some fonts. So I'm going to layer it even further. So I've got a background, I've got a graphic, and now I'm going to bring in some font. So to bring in the font, I'm going to go ahead and click on the T right here. And then I'm going to check right here and choose the font I want to. So today I'm actually using Artichoke Script, and it's only one plus credit, like I said, linked below. So um, you're simply just going to load it in here, and it'll be here forever. Or you can choose from another font in here. So I'm going to choose the Artichoke which I've already done and then I'm going to click somewhere on the screen here so um, I'm going to go ahead and size this out as big as I can and then we'll size it even further in a minute so I'm going to go ahead and type out boss I'm going to type these separate because I want them in two separate places because I'm going to do boss babe I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the pointer here so what you want to make sure is your transform controls is ticked so make sure your check mark is on once you choose your selector tool and then what we're going to do is see these little squares. I'm going to get the, the shift again, and I'm going to size this out. Grab a corner and drag out. Now, if you see this arrow, we can actually rotate this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one up here and maybe size it just a little bit more. Grab that shift. And that's just going to keep it together, like I said, keep its shape. And then now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my next one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that text again. Now what's really cool is you're just going to click on the screen and it's ready to type. It's going to start typing out the exact same size as our boss. So you don't have to go back and change your sizes. It's going to keep everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and type out babe, just like so. And then I'm going to get my selector tool once again so I can grab babe. And then I'm going to rotate this one just a little bit like so. So I'm going to go ahead and get this here. And maybe I want to grab um, my babe again. Grab my selector tool. Grab the boss and bring it down just a little bit. So maybe we can have this here. Move our babe up a little. Maybe even move our mouth up just a smidge. Nope, I think I like it there. All right, now you can change your colors as well. So if I wanted to change the color of my font, I can also do that. Um, so maybe I want to change um, the boss. I could click on boss. And then you see this little EFF down here? 
I'm gonna go and click on it and I'm gonna go to color overlay. So from here, I can change my color as well. So I can move this little box, click on the red here and then choose the color. So if I know my exact numbers of the colors, so something that's gonna match my lips here, I can copy and paste it in here. So I'm actually gonna go over here and grab this pink here. So maybe do a bright bold pink and then hit okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now we've changed the color here. So we have Boss Babe, we have our lips, and then it's transparent as you can see. So um, this file is ready to go. So what we can do is I can actually go to Layer, and then I can go ahead and hit Merge Down. I'm gonna grab my next one here, and I'm also gonna hit Layer, Merge Down. And then I could go ahead and once again grab this one and hit layer merge down. So now we have one solid file and this is a transparent design. So from here, we can save it as a PNG um, and then, or you can come up to file, export as, you can change it, you know, save it as your PNG, JPEG, SVG, whatever you need to. So if you want to save this into multiple formats, you can do so. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on PNG and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then from here, I can double click, click on it here. And there you guys have it. It is that easy to take some of our backgrounds, graphics, you could take SVGs if you wanted to, the PNGs, as well as some of our font and combine all of those together to create your very own files. Um, so I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.